The Crow, a cult classic that captured the hearts of goths and cinephiles alike with its dark atmosphere, tragic love story, and iconic performance by Brandon Lee. But like many things in Hollywood, it was only a matter of time before someone decided to dust off this gem and give it the old reboot treatment. From ill-fated sequels to behind-the-scenes tragedies, the Crow franchise has seen its fair share of curses over the years, but none could prepare us for what was to come with the cursed remake. And thus, the cursed remake was born. But before we dive into the depths of this cinematic travesty, let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit the cursed history of the Crow franchise. Just when you thought Hollywood couldn't sink any lower, along comes the The Crow remake, a soulless cash grab that spits in the face of everything the original stood for. With its generic plot, uninspired visuals and lacklustre performances, it's enough to make even the most die-hard Crow fan weep tears of blood. But perhaps the most cursed aspect of this remake is its blatant disregard for the legacy of Brandon Lee and the tragedy that befell him during the filming of the original. To see his memory tarnished in such a way is a slap in the face to fans and a disgrace to his memory. So, what can we learn from the cursed remake of The Crow? Well, for one, some things are better left untouched. And secondly, Hollywood, for the love of all that is holy, stop messing with our beloved classics. That's all for tonight's episode of Cursed Remake. Join us next time as we dive into another cursed remake that will make you question why they even bothered. Until then, stay cursed, my friends.